Hey, into picklers, uh, kind of a rainy day here in Florida, and uh, Jill and I wanted to put out a video for you today. But we're going to focus on in today's video is how giving up the line can tend to invite your opponents forward towards their no volley zone line, and how you're better off taking time away from your opponents by taking the ball in the air or on a short hop. Our focus here is on the positional advantage at the no volley zone line while handling third shots after a return. Court position in pickleball is key. Use your strategic advantage of being at the no volley zone line to take time away from your opponents and keep them back. Let's look at some shot sequences to see how this works. In this first sequence, we're going to see how Charlotte's going to hit a nice high return, giving herself plenty of time to get up to the no volley zone line. Jill hits the third shot to her, which is a good idea since, Jill, since Charlotte is moving. Charlotte, however, takes the ball in the air and is able to catch Jill still moving forward, resulting in a pop-up and a put-away. In this next series, we're going to see uh, I hit a high return down the middle, and then what happens is Jill hits it towards the middle. Charlotte lets this ball bounce. You're going to see how Derek here is going to close. Now, he misses the put-away here, uh, and we end up winning the point, but it's still a bad position that we're in here because he has a, a chance to put the ball away. In this next point, you're going to see how uh, Jill is going to utilize uh, taking the ball out of the air to catch Charlotte while she's still moving here. So Jill takes the ball out of the air. Charlotte's still moving. Uh, then Jill's shot catches her moving. It results in a pop-up and another put away. In this next point from a different match, you're going to see how I'm going to take it off a short hop here in the middle. Uh, I get over and I take it off the short hop and I just flick it over towards the side, catching uh, John still moving forward and resulting in a pop-up and a put away. This next point is interesting because you're going to get to see three different shots on the same point. On the initial third shot, you're going to see how Jill is at the line, then she's going to pull away from the line. It invites Steve and John to move forward. You see how they move into the court here. They stop there once she hits the ball. The next two shots I'm going to take in the air, and you'll see how they, uh, are John and Steve are basically stuck now in this no man's land because I'm taking the ball in the air, resulting in us ultimately winning the point. At this point, you'll see how I'm going to step over towards the middle to cover the middle, and I'm going to take it out of the air. It freezes the opponents by keeping them back, by seeing me move towards the middle. They stay back. Even though I can't do a lot with this ball, uh, I'm able to keep them back at least one more shot, and they don't get into the fifth. While we end up losing this point, uh, protecting the no volley zone line or not pulling back from the no volley zone line on the third shot, we were able to keep them back one additional shot. You're going to see as I move forward here after my return, then I'm going to take the first ball out of the air and keep them back. So they stay back on the baseline here because I just roll it deep, keeping them back on the baseline. For the second shot, I make a mistake, which is a tendency I used to have because of my tennis background and my desire to hit a forehand, was to let the ball bounce and then step back and try and top some forehand. What I end up doing here is inviting Tom forward to attack the ball. Luckily, Jay has good hands and we end up winning the point, but it isn't the optimal way of of addressing this point by stepping back off the line and inviting the other team forward to attack us. Better off staying on the line and taking the ball in the air if I can and keeping them back. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing below and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Oh, okay. What is it? They say more videos? Yeah, more videos. Sure.